We've been prepping for full-time RV life for over a year now, and part of the preparation is going out on practice runs. We want to talk about what you need to do during your first practice run to make it a success and to make you want to go out and do some more and not just say, screw it and quit. So come on. All right, so there's a lot of tips for going out on your first trip. There's a ton of things that we could share with you. So we just kind of picked our top five, top five things that we did during our very first run to make ourselves feel a little better. So number five, start close to home. We picked an RV park that was like five miles from the house. That way, if we ran any issues, we'd come back home. It was real easy to pick up something that we forgot or whatever did we have to come back home no well, that was good we didn't take scout with us that's right so we kind of like did come home oh yeah but... it was senior night that night mm -hmm. so we had to go take the rv out to the campsite then we had to go to the football stadium to do senior night with lauren and her band thing and then we had to go back out to the RV, spend the night. The next morning we went and got Scout, brought him out. So it was convenient to be close to home that first time. And learning with all your hookups and your dumps and all that stuff, it just is more convenient to be close to home if you need to be. And you're not towing that far. So you're building some confidence in yourself. And Get your feet wet. Yeah. Number four is to book a pull through set. Very important. We're going to book pull-through sites most of the time anyway. <laughs> Just because... Ten years from now, you'll still be booking a pull-through. I am going to do my very best to book pull-through sites no matter where we go. <laughs> It'll probably be unavoidable at some points, but look, especially if you're on your first time, book a pull-through site because, again, you want to build that confidence and you don't want to spend hours on your first time out trying to back in and then you're all pissed at each other and then the trip's no fun and so we booked a pull through site you're not really familiar with your, your clearances on your turning radiuses and all that stuff so do yourself a favor and book yourself a pull through site on your first trip out uh, number three give yourself plenty of time if you're just going out for a weekend maybe plan to take the Friday off before or maybe the Monday after the weekend take your time getting out there getting hooked up take that day in the daylight preferably on your mm -hmm. first trip you don't want to be in the dark so uh, do it in the daylight and then that way you're comfortable and you're hooked up and you're ready to go so maybe if you have enough time off if you're still working take the Monday and the Friday that way you have a long weekend and you can take your time hooking up and take your time unhooking and getting your RV back to wherever you store it number two is to ask for help. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because you can't do that. <laughs> well, why we put on a list? <laughs> I can ask for help. You haven't learned how to I, do that. I did. I asked for help. There's a couple of different ways that you can ask for help. <laughs> there are people at the RV park, and a lot of these people are like, you know, they live there at the RV park. Um, so they're seasoned with how to do everything on an RV. Uh, there are people that work at the RV park that you can reach out to to say, hey, and you'll, you'll look a little silly, you know? You mean, they're like, dude, you know what I dump your black tank? And, but there's, there's other ways. There's um, online help that you can get. Now, you gotta be careful because you really don't know if these people really know what they're talking about. They're not there in person, they can't really see what you're seeing. You could take a picture and send it to them, but yeah, it's kind of iffy. But um, we are on a couple of Facebook forums, and those have been helpful yeah. for some of the issues that we sure. have had. And it's kind of like when you're playing um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> and you just toss it out there, and you just toss it out there, and then you're going to get some random craziness that's like, that don't make any sense, I'm not doing that. 
and but that's only gonna be like a person or two and then you're gonna get some that kind of sound like they're doing and then the masses are gonna be saying the same thing over and over again oh do this do this do this do this and so if you go with the masses you're probably gonna be okay if you do that but um, just be careful because there's there are people out there that think they know everything <laughs> about the RV and really don't know anything and they could care less whether you succeed or fail and oh, they might be even trying to sabotage you just because it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I would never do that. You better not. I would not, not. That's mean. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. The number one tip, which we learned the hard way. What's this we? What? You didn't do it either. Not until after the fact on some of the stuff. Once we got there. Yeah. You you didn't want to at all. Mm -mm, I was mad. <laughs> While I, you were mad and cussing and <laughs> boohoo pouty face, <laughs> I was sitting on the couch <laughs> doing this step. Well, hey, and we spent like most of the weekend doing this step. I did. Yeah. I educated you quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. you probably already figured out what we're talking about. <laughs> the number one tip. Read your manuals. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought? There's a ton of information. <laughs> yeah. That they hide the, in these manuals. <laughs> yeah. Hide on the pages in black ink. <laughs> it really is informative. Like, I learned how, how all the tanks work, the hot water heater, the. What else did we learn about? I mean, everything. The, the air, the. the, the um, thermostat? Yeah, the thermostat, the furnace. Yeah. Um, we learned how all that stuff, you know, worked, but uh, I was just like Googling it and it didn't work very well. And then, yeah, I, I, some of the stuff, like I'm, I'm not putting that on the forum because people will think <laughs> I'm retarded. They'll be like, stop <laughs> RVing right now. Step away from the RV, sir. Like I said, <laughs> didn't do step number two either. <laughs> So, you know, one of the reasons we started this channel is um, so that we could share this stuff with you and, and so that you could learn from our mistakes so that you don't make these same mistakes. So every once in a while we'll do these videos where we give out tips and stuff like that. So um, I think this is an important one. If you've never been out before, you're planning on being full-time or even part-time or even just having fun, you know, every once in a while weekend trips and stuff, um, these tips should help you to have at least a successful first trip out. I have uh, significant other tips. Oh yeah? Yeah. Let's hear them. Take a deep breath and then just smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Especially when they're acting like a two-year-old <laughs> having a temper tantrum. Hey. Just deep breath and smile. Never happened. Never. We didn't even have footage of it. <laughs> No, I yeah. I used to be a lot worse. Yes, you, yeah, you were. And I even, I've, I stopped myself a couple of times, like when I was felt getting frustrated. And I'm like, oh, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Because in the past, I've been like, <laughs> bump it. We ain't full time. In, uh, yeah. I mean, time. <laughs> Sell the RV. It's a bad idea. Terrible idea. Yeah. Fail. We're out. You, <laughs> you have problems where things just don't go like you expect it the very first time you you get upset right away you get frustrated yeah first or you second pull time. your hat up you scratch your head you i do your hat back up. <laughs> i do that yeah. i don't want people to see me without a hat <laughs> yeah so um i have some tips too really <laughs> Yeah. Enlighten me. <laughs> since we're talking about, since we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. I got a tip. You probably shouldn't talk about your tips. <laughs> that, that would be a tip for you. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, just take a breath. I mean, it's Don't gonna, direct your anger. That's true. At somebody. Don't do that. I don't think I did that. No, I didn't allow you to. No, I didn't direct my anger. I was just mad in general. Yeah. I didn't blame anybody. I just had to ignore it. Yeah. Uh, 
I may have said some things in my head no. that just never verbally came out. <laughs> That's how I call mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I can read some of those yeah. words on your face. Yeah. Because they're on your face. Yeah, I can't control my face. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, we hope these tips helped you out. We um, hope that you enjoyed this video. And we, hope, we do we really hope it's helpful. Um, and there, there's a ton more that you can oh, yeah. that you can do. I mean, uh, you're gonna learn a ton in your first trip. And we've been out on three trips now, and we've learned a ton mm -hmm. during those three trips. And we're gonna go out on a few more trial runs before we go uh, full time this summer. And we're gonna learn a ton more probably. And we're probably gonna get frustrated and mm -hmm. gonna get mad. And you're probably gonna say silent words, and I'll be able to read them on your face. Yes. Pretty much a guarantee. <laughs> but look, here's the key. Once the frustration's over, and once you're set up, and once you're hooked up, let it go. Yeah. And have a good time, which we did success successfully, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, we were both frustrated at times, um, but once we were all set up, we were hooked up, um, come inside, and it's time to relax and have fun. And we did that. So hopefully, uh, you can do that too, but I mean, you know, we've been married for almost 20 years, so we've gotten pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. So, don't hold on tight. You'll have a terrible trip if you just if you go based off of backing into a site <laughs> and hooking up and the frustration, you're gonna have a terrible weekend mm -hmm. because not only are you pissed, mm -hmm. now you're trapped in a small space with another person that's pissed. <laughs> We'll talk, that's a whole other video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we let it go pretty quick. And um, we were, I wasn't really ever mad at you. No. It was just frustration at the situation yeah. or something I couldn't get to work and yeah. I was mad and I know just, that. You know, yeah, the stomping in and out. <laughs> I'm just going to have to break it. I'm just going to have to break yeah. it. <laughs> and you did say that. It's not coming off. I'm just going to have to break it off. No. That's not the answer. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. but I didn't. No, you didn't. But here's the thing. I verbalized that. That helps me vent. I'm not really going to break it. It helps me vent. I'm mad. I'm like, I really want to break it. <laughs> I at least need to say that I'm going to break it. <laughs> I'm not going to break it, but I need to say that I'm going to break it. It makes me feel better. I'm going to break this <laughs> piece of And then I fix it. <laughs> and then I'm like super happy. I'm like, look at it. That was awesome. I fixed the thing. You see this? I fixed the thing. Let me show you. I fixed the thing. You want to see how I fixed the thing? It's awesome. <laughs> and I say, oh, imagine that. And you didn't have to break it. Isn't yeah. that great? But just verbalizing <laughs> that I wanted to break it makes me feel better. And when I verbalize that I don't like you at that moment, <laughs> makes me feel better too. Yeah, and I don't take it personal. No. I know she don't like me. I love moment. you. I just don't like you yeah. at the moment. And it's cool. Yeah. And as soon as I don't break it and fix it, and then we get settled in, we're cool. Yeah. So hopefully you can get to that point in your relationship also. <laughs> love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope it helped, and we hope you guys had a good time this week on this video. And um, I think that's a wrap. Is that a wrap? I think so. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.